Hi everybody, it's story time and I am here with your story today and it's all about this creature here. Do you know what this is boys and girls? It's a dragon! And my story today is this one and it's called When the Dragons Came. And the author, the authors, there's two, is Naomi Kefford and Lynn Moore. And the illustrator is Benji Davis. Town was the loveliest town. There it is. The neat rows of houses had charming front gardens with hedges and lawns that were trimmed every day. The high street provided whatever was needed, and the riverbank was perfect for picnics in May. Oh, yes. Popple Down Town was the loveliest town, and everyone who lived there agreed. Amelia Topping loved shopping. She skipped down the aisles of Poppledown Market, selecting her salads, her cheese and cold meats. She paused at the freezers and chose all her favourites, then filled up her trolley with donuts and treats. Oh yes, Amelia Topping loved shopping. Oh, can you see this here, boys and girls? I think that could be. Mm until the dragons came. Frederick Creeding loved reading. He hurried each morning to Poppledown Library, treasuring the hush as he browsed along rows. He liked using stories, then reading them quietly, and the click of the stamp on each book that he chose. Oh yes, Frederick Creeding loved reading. Oh. Oh, can you see here, boys and girls? Until the dragons came. Oh dear. Olivia Turning loved learning. There she is. She sat on the carpet at Poppledown Playgroup, eager for stories and songs of Miss Twee. She carefully moulded her plasticine biscuits ready to use in her teddy bear's tea. Oh yes, Olivia Turning loved learning. Oh, can we spot anything on this page, boys and girls? What can you see in the corner? She loved learning until the dragons came. Oh goodness me, she doesn't look very happy there. Soon, Olivia Turning hated learning and Frederick Creeding avoided reading and Amelia Topping stopped shopping for Popple Downtown just wasn't the same since the dragons came. But Jeremy Stamping loved camping. Mm. He set up his tent on Poppledown Common, a holiday village of orange and red. He checked all the guy ropes, the pegs and the zippers, then sizzled his sausages and pumped up the beds. Oh yes, Jeremy Camping, Jeremy Stamping loved camping. Until oh, the drink's going to come. Oh, oh, the rain came. Oh, dearie me. It drummed on the canvas like zebras tap dancing. It hammered the fly sheet and trickled down poles. It seeped into sleeping bags, gathered in puddles. The campers were soggy and hungry and cold. until the dragons came. They spread out their wings and provided a shelter. They dried up the puddles and cooked sausages to share. The campers saw kindness and talked with the dragons. Then they realized quite quickly 
they had not been fair. They explained to the dragons just how they had annoyed them with clumsy behaviour and the mess that they'd made. The dragon said, sorry, they'd meant to be friendly. And they tried to be careful and calm if they stayed. So, Olivia Turning went back to her learning and Frederick Creeding continued reading. And Amelia Topping only went shopping on Wednesdays. What can you see? When the dragons came, and there they are, all happy together. They just had a misunderstanding, didn't they, boys and girls? The dragons wanted to be friends all along. They just didn't know how. So they talked about it. And then they realised that they could be friends. And then they had lots of fun together. So I hope you enjoyed that story about when the dragons came, boys and girls. Bye for now.